Peacock Show Television. I'm Jeff Abbey. <clears throat> this is my 56 Chevy Bel Air. It's the first uh, old car I've ever owned. Uh, I don't know why I got the hankering for it. I've always loved old cars and I like to work on them. And when I was younger, I got the opportunity once in a while to, to do that. Um, I got this, this is my daily driver, by the way. I, I gave my other car to my daughter uh, about two years ago. She was in college. And so I was riding a motorcycle. And that got a little bit old, take going to the grocery and whatnot. So I thought, hey, I can get a Camry. And uh, then I thought about it. You know, I don't really want a Camry. I wanted an old car. So uh, I looked around and I found this one in uh, Napa Valley in California. It's a car built in LA. It lived most of its life in Arizona. It's a 1956 uh, Chevy Bel Air. It was, quote, oh, the top of the line at the time. Uh, it still has its uh, manual steering with a big wheel, which I kind of like, and it's got the old-time seat, so you can put your arm around your girl, whatever. But then the guy did some crazy stuff, like he put about 800 watts of audio power in and a subwoofer and all this stuff I don't really use, but it's there if I need it. And then he uh, did uh, put AC in it and electric uh, windows. It's got powered brakes with disc. Uh, it's a 350 with a four barrel El uh, Edelbrock carb. It's uh, got headers and uh, when I got it, pretty much nothing worked. The air conditioning didn't work, the windows didn't work, they were electric, they didn't work, the radio didn't work, who <laughs> name it, the horn, everything. So I, I was a little bit frustrated, but then I thought, hey, I want a project, what can I do, you know? Uh, and it was kind of fun. So uh, I started doing the little things and uh, I got a little more serious about it and, uh, you know, worked on the front end some and I had the, uh, the engine, you know, slightly modified and uh, I just did some minor stuff to make it, you know, what I want to drive it every day and I have a good time with it. I get in it and I feel like, you know, back in those days when we were kids and, you know, things were just easier and more fun and you always just were happy. You had a smile on your face, so that's kind of what this car does. It, it gives me a big smile, and I just uh, enjoy having it. And uh, hopefully, I'll have it for a little while. And when I'm done with it, I'll take care of it, and the next guy will get to have it, and they'll have a good time too. My name is Larry Coe, and this evening we're featuring a 1957 Bel Air convertible, and uh, it's got 15,000 original miles. Uh, it's got the 283 with a four barrel. The only thing we did on the car uh, that is not original, of course, we put air conditioning in it because we are down here in sunny Florida. And if you notice, we also put out our menu and this is an original menu from Burger Haven in Michigan where we're from and it has the original prices of a hot dog hamburger and fries well the 57 Chevy was uh, it rode pretty good uh, the 58 had a little uh, uh, they secured the sway bars in this one here this came with two sway bars 
it rides real nice. The engine, of course, in the car is a small 283 with a four barrel. It's all original and uh, it's quite nice. Now, if you remember all you young guys, the 57 had the big front where we would put our beer and keep it cold. Now, also, since we have uh, the, the sound, I am going to put the radio on and if you stand in the front, in 1957, we used to go to uh, the drive-in restaurant and we used to jitterbug in the front and we put the speakers underneath the fenders. So we would actually jitterbug with Claudia, see, and we would jitterbug at the, uh, the drive-in restaurants and, and the sound would be coming right outside of the fenders. Kind of neat. The owner of this car had this car in storage for about 28 years and uh, he really took good care of it and had it in many shows in New Jersey. Hey guys, this is Alex at Car Show Television. You know, South Florida is really a mecca for the collectible, antique, muscle car, modified, drifting car area. And man, we are just so blessed to have so many car shows every weekend here in South Florida. Car Show Television is all about covering those events in our area in South Florida for you guys, the viewers. What we want to do though is not just show the shiny paint and the beautiful chrome. We want to hear the stories behind these cars. What we want to do is really capture the emotional connection that we as owners have with these cars and what drives us, pun intended, to own these cars. So tune in every week here on Car Show Television and capture not just the beauty of these cars, but the emotional connection that we have with them.